Hello and welcome to Marwell Manor, where we are starting a brand new series here, uh, as the snow is beginning to fall, in fact. Um, so we've started in New Farmer. Um, this is the first time I've played Marwell Manor in Seasons, but of course it's the second time I've played it on the channel. Um, but the plan is that we are going to be doing... Uh, a whole load of work here with class. So we're looking to build a class farm. As a result, we're pretty much going to sell everything off uh, immediately. Uh, I'm hoping to rework a couple of things. Um, and uh, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is identify uh, whether we're able to, to sell these straight off or whether we need to take them to the shop. Uh, so let's go and have a look at what we have in our garage. Uh, so this is the best one, I think, to target. The Fent 1149MT uh, is 428,000. So let's have a look at how much that is in the shop. Uh, there, where is it? There it is. So 1149 uh, MT is 428,000. So that matches. Uh, I would guess that if we look at our combine as well, we'll find the same thing. So the combine we got on here is the smaller Massey, I think. 202,000 for that. 202,000 for that. So yes, we can safely sell off pretty much all of this equipment. Without any worries. Uh, I might hang on to a couple of bits. Uh, we've got some fairly... That's a fairly heavy weight uh, cultivator. So I think we will have to sell that. Because I'm not looking at having 400 horsepower for my tractor. Um, the horse pronto though. That we can keep. Uh, the hardy uh, sprayer. I think we can probably keep that as well. I would pretty much say everything else is going to go. We're going to swap our combine and our biggest tractor around, uh, which is why we can't keep the cultivator. Uh, because I think we can get a combine for somewhere around that and a tractor for somewhere around that. So let's sell these items off. So uh, buy to the John Deere. Buy to the Fent. The Massey as well. The Agriliner. Uh, the header for our Massey. Uh, the plow, which is a bit small, we're going to get something that runs a bit wider than that, I think. Uh, we're going to keep the horse pronto. We're going to keep the hardy navigator. Uh, we're going to sell that as well. And that. And that. I'm actually thinking at the moment we might sell this simply because I have no need of it right now. Uh, and we're probably going to get a, uh, we could probably get a solid fertilizer spreader first. So let's sell that actually. And that will do that rather nicely. Now I can't sell any of the farm buildings unfortunately without selling the whole farm. Which is uh, slightly annoying. Uh, otherwise I think we're all good. So we're going to keep this because that's useful. So let's head to uh, what we can purchase. And the first thing we're going to buy is we're going to buy a medium tractor. I think our best bet is the top end of the Axion. So the Axion, Axion 8, uh, 870. Uh, that's 229. Uh, I want to put Michelin's on it and the GPS, uh, which takes it up to 247. If we go the same thing, but on the bottom end of our, um, of our 900 series, so 960 to 920, that is not quite so good i mean it's it's same setup we got uh, some extra uh we've got extra horsepower we've got about uh i think it's about 30 extra horsepower but it'll cost us fifty thousand to do that so i think as a good all-round tractor it's going to be a great start for us to start with this so uh let's grab this for um yeah there we go 870 for 247,000 we'll buy that yes okay to go with this i think we need a weight as well so let's go and have a look at the class weights one thing i love about the class weights uh in the the platinum edition is these are all configurable so if we have a look at the 900 kilogram this i think is the one we want to get but this can be boosted up to 1500 which is absolutely brilliant. So uh, I'm going to buy the 1500 version of that. 
absolutely perfect. Uh, and then if we have a look at our map. Now our ground temperature is 4 degrees C. We do have snow falling. But I want to get some lime down. So, let's have a look. I think we want to get some lime down. I would be very surprised if our fields didn't need lime. Yep, all of our fields need lime. So, uh, first things first, I think we should get some lime down. Actually, field one doesn't need lime. And it's slightly fertilized. That's really interesting. Um, but yes, uh, we need to, we're need to. we going to get field 18 done first. So, let's purchase ourselves a spreader. Uh, now, this is this is the thing I was saying, is that we can get a fertilizer spreader that also does lime for not a lot of money. Uh, certainly less than we were looking at spending, uh, or less than our fertilizer uh, spreader cost. So this takes it up to, uh, takes up to 78,000, a lot less than the 115. Uh, and uh, actually, if we take it, 76,000. Uh, and yeah, the basic extension takes it up. So I think we will take that as well. So that allows us to spread lime and is pretty good. So let's go up and have a look. Here we go. So we've got our Breedle here and our class tractor. Let's get this set up. And hopefully by sort of day two, day three of this, uh, we'll be in a position where uh, we can get it doing... Oh, we've still got the auto start on as well. Let's turn that off. And I want to turn off as well the GPS indicator. There we go. No. Why did that not turn off? There we go. There we are. So we've got a line station back at our farm. We will hook this up and we will get this going. Hopefully, the snow is not going to interfere with this. As I said, the temperature is zero, but the snow itself isn't settling because it's four degrees. So, uh, I'm going to get this back to the farm and get this uh, loaded up uh, with some lime. And then we can get it doing some work. Here we are. We have a lime station right by the farm. Let's open our cover. Yep. Yeah in the right direction now hopefully this is big enough that it's going to have enough lime so load that up we got the money for it at the moment we dropped just below 1 million um, and we're gonna take we're gonna take up a large chunk we're gonna take up over half of that with our combine in a moment but because we've started on new farmer we don't have any um, we don't have any loan at the moment. So we can borrow money and we've got a decent sized farm to do that with. I just want to check what we've got. We do need periodic plowing. We do need line required. We do have weeds. We want to turn all of these helper bits off. Right. We want to do default fuel usage. We do have the extended, the quicker fuel usage mod on here. Dirt normal traffic on. Uh, it's not going to be too difficult. Normal and yeah. Oh, and manure off. There we go. So that should be everything that we need. Let's close this up and get this tractor set up over this way. So these should be some good storage sheds actually for uh, if we ever do root crops on here. But I'm looking to, to basically... We've got some fairly large fields. And Marwell will support some pretty big, um, some pretty big equipment, thankfully, uh, which is why I decided to come and do sort of my class farm series on here. So we've got field work. We want to do course generation. Uh, now this sometimes takes a little while for this to calculate. So current vehicle position, longest edge is what we want because we want it to do this direction. Uh, but it does take a little while for it to uh, to calculate that. No multiple tools. 18 meters. Uh, we want headlands to go uh, around because of the piece of equipment we're using. Uh, I would say two headland passes would cover everything. Counterclockwise because we want to end up back here. Headland corners smooth. 
Uh, and uh, we want to do the up down rows first, really. All right, so yeah, around two headlands, counterclockwise, up down, smooth corners. Absolutely perfect. Let's generate a course. And there is our course generated. As you can see, pretty big uh, spread this has. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. And I think <laughs> while we've done that, we can no longer spread this. I doubt that we can now spread this now that the snow has fallen this much. Which is monumentally annoying. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna sort of have a bust today. We'll save this course. So uh, we will save this as F18 fertilizer. Uh, spread up. There we go. And uh, and yeah, we're going to have to put our fertilizer spreader away because we've got snow on the ground. And I don't think... I think it's going to melt fairly quickly, to be honest. But the realism uh, person in me uh, absolutely says we cannot, under any circumstances, with snow on the actual ground... Uh, do that. So uh, I'm just going to pull this under this shelter here. Uh, and we'll disconnect this. Rather disappointingly. There we go. And, uh, and we'll turn this tractor off for now. Because the next thing I want to do is purchase our combine. So the combine we're going to go for is a Lexian 8900. Uh, this is the biggest combine now in game, as uh, from the uh, the uh, platinum edition. It's five. It's over half a million to purchase this with the GPS on it. Uh, yeah, really expensive piece of kit, but absolutely perfect for this map. Uh, and as I said, I think we will be absolutely fine at making this purchase. Uh, uh, together with a header, we want to get this header for it. I think so. We're going to buy that as well. And finally, we want a header trailer, which uh, is going to be this one, I think. Yes, it's going to be uh, this one, uh, which is the uh, Convo uh, 1230 trailer. That is the one that goes with this header. So purchase that back, back, and let's head over here. And there it is. <laughs> Looking, a combine in the snow somehow looks wrong. And that cost us 300,000. Uh, I'm sorry, that cost us over 600,000 to set this combine up. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, that is a lot of money for our combine. Uh, I think it's a perfect combine for here. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's going to set us up really well. But yeah, that is an expensive combine for here. Right, lift it up. And I want to line it up onto the trailer. See if we can see if we can get this to match the correct position where it would be as much as possible. And there are one of the nice things about this DLC is that yeah, there are points at which this lines up really well, and you can see where the locking mechanisms would be. There we are, right. And before we drop it off, eh, manual attach is a little bit funny. Doesn't let you uh, with headers. If you drop them onto the header trailer, doesn't let you uh, actually disconnect the header. Uh, or dis disconnect the uh, pipes or anything. So let's drop it down and disconnect it. And back off. Hang on. Did you see that jump? Oh, wow. That's awesome. So, the header trailer, the header trailer jumped. Oh, sorry, the header jumped on the trailer. And what it seems to have done is moved into locking position. That is absolutely brilliant. I've never, that has never been a feature in Farm Sim before. The trailer, the header has locked properly on the trailer. I was, there was a, I was doing, um... Getting the Takano on uh, This Is Island. And I made a comment. I wish the, header the headers would lock into the trailer on the lock points. 
That did exactly that. I'm now going to have to, next time I go uh, on my uh, This Is Island game, I am absolutely going to have to go and check that because that's just brilliant. That is absolutely awesome new feature brought in with the Platinum Edition. I look forward to seeing that on a lot more pieces of kit. Um, right, so after all that excitement, let's get this back to the farm, I think. So... There we are. Combine back to the shed. We'll just pull this. We'll pull this in where the uh, old combine was. Uh, and out of the way. I think we may have the size of this header trailer. We're going to have to put the header trailer here. I think. And that just shows the difference in size between this combine and its predecessor. The Massey was in there before. And you could fit the whole thing in there. Whereas this time... We've got, we're going to put this one in here with its header trailer over there. That is just a massive difference. Right, so let's jump out of this. Oh, okay. I'm going to jump across to the tractor because that is, that is a, actually a really tight squeeze. I might move that across, actually. Just so that we can jump in and out of the combine. Now we could put it a little bit further back and park something in front if we uh, if we needed to, but uh, we'll see how we go. But a good place actually to put a carting trailer would be in front of that. Right, so I think we should jump into our uh, class here. Yeah, there we go. We are disconnected. Good. Oop. And we'll head back to the shop. We can't do much with all this snow falling. Uh, so we might as well get the next bit ready. The next bit, of course, being that we need... Uh, we're going to need something to do... Uh, probably subsoiling. I, I want to get a subsoiler rather than a plough. Uh, because we should be able to get a subsoiler that's fairly wide. Um, and that we can do with this power level. And so we've got about a hundred and... So I think we've got about 290 horsepower to play with with this tractor. Um, which is why I want a you know, nice, good, high range of horsepower. And will allow us to uh, to really kind of uh, get most of the jobs done on the farm. I think overall, the plan for this series is get through the first harvest... Earn any extra money we need through that. We pro possibly uh, borrow a little bit of money and and pay it off with the first harvest. So we're trying not to, like I do in most series, get into a massive amount of debt. We're trying to to basically not be in huge amounts of debt with this. Right. So what we need is a subsoiler. Uh, where are they? Actually, is it under plows? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, here they are. These Rovic Lears. Um, the biggest of these takes 260 horsepower. It is a whopping 5.2 meters. Uh, has a 9 mile per hour work speed. I think this is absolutely brilliant. And the great thing about this is, uh, I think if we put a roller on the back, it then uh, leaves it cultivated as well. So we're going to get it with the roller. It's 33000 so it's fairly inexpensive as well. Um, absolutely great piece of kit, this. So let's buy that. And back we go. There we go. There's that. I need to find out where our cedar is. And I think... So this, this should, certainly first year, this should sort us out as far as um, getting the ground prepared. There we go. Uh, this should mean that the, uh, yeah, we, we easily can get the ground prepared. Uh, prepared, sorry. Once we, uh, once we get the lime on it. You can see it's fairly heavy though. The, the tractor, especially in the snow, has become... Um, even more slippery which is not great but uh yeah we'll, we'll get this back well that was um 
an interesting trip. Yeah, it is... Uh, it looks like it is sheep down that way and not pigs. Oh, yeah, pigs are... Uh, I remember where the pigs are on this map. Now, we've got to find somewhere where we're going to be putting our uh, implements. Because that's... Uh, we're going to need that. That is the sheep area. So, not down here. There's no uh, implement area at the moment. I need to find somewhere. We've got two sheds up here, but these are really uh, storage sheds for um, other bits. Maybe. Uh, maybe around the side of the grain store would be good. This is the trouble. Is that I'm not 100% sure where the best place. What about around the back of the shed there? That might be a good place for implements. See, this is the first time I'm exploring Marwell with these buildings and things here. Because this was all... Uh, previously, this was all area that I... Uh, that I didn't use. Perfect, actually. Is this area. So let's uh, reverse this up here. And we will leave, we'll use this as implement storage around the back of this shed. Go down with this, and then we'll go and drop it off, like so. And this is, this is a plow, not a, not a subsoiler. So actually, we can create fields with that as well, which is absolutely perfect. Right, so that has given us something to prepare the land, something to, um... Yeah, we actually, other than a trailer, I think we have everything we need with just this to get ourselves started. Now, where is, let's have a look on our map and see if we can work out where, there it is, it's at the back of the shed up there. So we'll head up that way. And go and have a look at our cedar, which is in this large shed up here. So, again, I think that's a good place to store things like cedars and things. Is uh, is basically, we'll have this as a shed here. A little bit of snow falling through some of the roof here. Uh, but, yeah, so this is our cedar. I, I believe this horse pronto is a direct cedar. Uh, yeah, so this is a direct cedar. So, in actual fact, that's perfect. Uh, we have everything we need there. It also has fertilizer. So, between these two, we can fully fertilize the field. The only thing we can't do at the moment is uh, deal with uh, weeds, which is such a huge problem with seasons. So, the only thing we can't do at the moment is cart. And that's it. That's amazing. We've got 292,000. And the only thing left on the main part of the farm is carting. Now to do that, I think it might be time to bring out an old favourite. Uh, because while we have things like we have this um, Brantner, which we can't. That's got a manure spreader built into it. Um, which we can't take the sides off. We've got a, a Brauhan a Traxel, which takes 26,000. If we look at the size of our combine, our combine has an 18,000 litre tank. So I want a trailer that holds at least 36,000. There's very little that does that, unless you have a look at something like this. The grain trailer for the IT runner. So, as it's such a versatile piece of equipment, I think we want the IT runner. Uh, it's been a while since I've used it. I think it would be perfect on here. We can change it and give it um, a bit of class green. Or actually, I like to give uh, class red. Absolutely perfect. So, that goes with that nicely. We can then give the trailer itself a class green or something like that. So, uh, let's... Uh, 
so this is 56,000. So the IT runner is an expensive way of doing trailers. Absolutely is. It's going to cost us 60,000, which compared to... Uh, it's up there with the Cramp Bandit, but the Cramp Bandit isn't quite as, as versatile. Uh, you know, the trailers at that sort of size, so the Joskin is that sort of size at 35, but even that doesn't take enough stuff. You're looking at, at sort of that 750 Bandit, and I think I'd want a grain doing is, uh, yeah. Yeah, we are talking, we are talking trailers that already have silage sides on, and I can't remove them. So, we're going to go with the IT runner. We have the money to do it, which is fantastic. And then we got 200,000 to concentrate on our uh, on getting our animals, which is perfect. So, uh, we want to uh, buy that. And then we're going to need the grain trailer for it. There's a grain container that holds 45,000, but I like, I like the grain trailer on this. Uh, and as a we're going to get this in the class green, I think. And by that, we can always change these colours if uh, if it's a little too much. So let's head back to our tractor. Ah, the snow has stopped. Why does the weather on this map always change when I'm not looking at it? So hopefully uh, the, the temperature is such a way that by the second game day uh, on here, by next episode, I think this snow will have cleared and we can get on with the jobs, which would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm tempted with, uh, we've got 224,000 left. I'm tempted for a... Um, to get a small tractor with... Uh, a fork uh, with a front loader on it as uh, as my second tractor um, maybe uh, maybe sort of about a hundred thousand uh, I think that would be a good use of our cash would allow us to uh, to start getting animals in um, we're gonna have to buy in feed and things if we get our animals too early but getting in the sheep now would be a good idea I think right Let's hook this up. Uh, very nice to have the class colours in game. Uh, and then unfold that so that we can pick up our grain trailer. Right, and connect the hook, connect it up, find it easier if I reverse up like that. Now we can get an animal trailer for this as well, uh, I think. So I need to I need to double check that, but I think we can put an animal trailer on this too, uh, which is good, holds a good number of uh, animals as well. We basically want to try and use the IT runner to full effect if we can. But uh, this gets us pretty well set up. Actually, I like that. I like that a lot. That as a setup and colours, I think, works. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the colour of our IT Runner trailer setup here? Uh, but yeah, I think uh, that is uh, that is going to do as well. Combine should reach over the top of it. I hope. We may have to test that. Uh, but I think trailer uh, the combine should reach over the top of this that is the only downside to the it runner it does tend to be fairly high but at 2:51 in the afternoon that i think is a good place for us to draw this to a close uh we there's not much more we can do today uh the ground is absolutely covered in snow i could plow through the snow uh, that's very feasible but as I said, we need to get this lime spread first. So, let's uh, drop this off. Oh, there we go. Got that then. Finally. And we'll go park our Axion in the shed. 
And uh, and yeah, that is that is us started at the very least. So next time we'll look at uh, we'll get we'll get this working on the uh, fields. We'll get the uh, lime spread. Hopefully this snow will be gone by then, and uh, and we should be on our way. Uh, but there we go. That is uh, that is us initially set up. All that remains is for me to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.